I'm feeling great right now. Uh, I've been feeling good for the last few weeks, and uh, you know, hopefully here soon we'll be able to get back out there and uh, start pitching in some big league games. So hopefully soon. Next, Rich Jubroff. Hunter, was there any temptation when this happened to say, "Oh no, here we go again"? Why? Why is this always happening to me? Um, not really. Um, even when it first came about, I didn't think it was anything too bad. Um, I didn't think, uh, you know, it didn't feel like it ever did before. Um, those couple of years where I kept getting hurt, especially with the form, um, it hurt really bad. And, uh, you know, this, this didn't really seem like anything. Um, I didn't think it would be anything serious in the of the day. So, um, you know, it was, it never crossed my mind of being, you know, something like it was in the past. John Muley. Hunter, how would you describe what it did feel like and what you were dealing with once it started coming up? Um, it was just kind of uncomfortable. Um, I do think I could have, you know, pitched with it and, you know, everything would have been fine. Nothing serious would have come from it. But, uh, you know, we just wanted to play it safe and, uh, you know, take a couple of days off and just, you know, kind of build back up. And that's what we did. But, you know, it was never, you know, any sharp pain, nothing like that. Just uh, it was just uncomfortable. Joe Trezza. Hey Hunter, we we keep hearing that that you're on a progression and that you're getting better. What what does that look like from a like a pitch count standpoint? Like, ha have you been throwing bullpens? What what have you been doing from a throwing standpoint? Um, I've been throwing some live BPs and uh, you know getting back on the mound and facing hitters and um, you know we're progressing pretty good and you know we're kind of just taking it day by day, making sure everything's good and you know it's been going great so far. So we're just gonna stay on page with that. Melanie Newman. Um, Hunter, I know your dad and your brother were a big help to you when you got to go home for the first couple of months. How has that relationship kind of adjusted now that you've been away from them at the alternate site? And also your thoughts on uh, everybody trying to give Rio Ruiz the new flow trophy for the O's. <laughs> um, it's been tough with dad. Uh, Dad's definitely not used to not being able to come and see me and um, it's killing him right now. He's calling me three or four times a day. So he's he's blowing me up, saying my brother. But uh, yeah, Rio's got the. He says he's not growing a mullet, but I I told him he was. So yeah, I think he's trying to he's trying to get on the mullet train. Steve Molesky. Hunter, if you had been pitching in rehab games in the minors, you'd have fans. You'd have the quote normalcy. What's it like at Bowie when you've pitched in games and watching others? Can you get the adrenaline going you need? to prepare yourself to pitch in a major league game? Has that been challenging? Um, yeah, it's it's a lot different. Uh, it, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, you know, I'm trying, you know, everybody's trying their best to try to make it game-like, and, uh, you know, they're doing a good job down there to try to make it game-like. At least they got the crowd noise and everything. So they're trying their best, and it's, you know, it's difficult, you know, with everything going on. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, but, you know, guys are definitely uh, pushing through it. Stephanie Epstein. Hi, Hunter. Uh, one of the many weird things about this season is that you can't, like, get near your teammates in a lot of cases. What, uh, if you guys are buyers at the deadline, what can you guys do to make the new guys feel comfortable? Um, I, I don't, it's, it's weird. I'm, you know, not supposed to high five and all this stuff. So it's, uh, it's going to be different welcoming, you know, if we get some new guys to welcome them in. But I guess just, you know, just talk from a distance and uh, try to bring them in that way. Thanks. Joe Trezza. Hunter, what, what do you have to do this week? Like, what kind of hurdles do you have to clear to be activated? Um, and how's your velocity? Are you able to throw all your pitches, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, I've been throwing everything. And, uh, you know, we're still, like I said, we're going day by day. And uh, we're not really sure what's going to come this week. And, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens as each day progresses. John Mioli. Hunter, are you seeing a lot of different eras of Orioles pitching development and pitching a lot of different situations yourself? In terms of what they have trying to create a straight-up developmental site, I guess, at the Bowie camp, how different is that and how effective do you think that is for, for getting people ready for the big leagues? Um, I think it's going good down there. I mean, it also helps. we got some good hitters down there, so it'll challenge some of those guys, especially some of the young guys like DL and Grayson and um, you know, I think it's going good. Uh, we got some great arms uh, down there and there. You know, we got some, we got some good players coming. So it's exciting to see what's going to happen. And, uh, 
you know, they're, they're doing a great job down there developing us. John? Is there anyone specifically that uh, stands out in terms of pitchers down there that you like, that you've tried to work with, tried to help at all? Um, you know, I talk with uh, D.L. Hall a lot every day. I mean, he's, he's got some electric stuff. It's crazy. Um, he's got a big arm. He's left-handed. Uh, he's, he's got a bright future. And, you know, I mean, obviously with Grayson Rodriguez, he's, you know, he's just all around a great pitcher. So um, they're young and they got a lot of, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. They're just going to be really good. But I mean, they're, they're some, some good arms.